Heart attacks are coming from an unexpected source, and a new study probably has doctors, especially cardiologists, scratching their heads. And hopefully, they will change their recommendations and quit pushing statins on everybody and focus on lifestyle. When it comes to predicting your risk of heart disease, we've been focusing on the wrong lipid number for far too long. Despite all the statins and the food pyramid, heart disease is still the leading cause of death worldwide. And cholesterol has been demonized as the culprit. However, the type of lipid in your blood may be more important than the total number of your cholesterol panel. For decades, doctors have been telling us to lower our LDL levels to prevent heart disease and stroke. A groundbreaking new study published in April is challenging that conventional wisdom. This new study was published in the Journal of the American Heart Association and shows that very low density lipoprotein levels are more predictive of future heart disease than LDL levels. Researchers analyzed almost 40,000 patients and found that those with a higher VLDL level had a significantly increased risk of future heart disease after, even after accounting for other risk factors like smoking, diabetes, and prediabetes. Very low density lipoproteins or BLDLs carry triglycerides in the bloodstream. This study found that even in patients with lower LDL levels, those with higher L BLDL levels had a higher risk of heart disease and stroke. The standard cholesterol check or fasting lipid profile uh, does not really measure BLDL. It does give you LDL, but it also gives you triglycerides. And you can estimate your VLDL level by dividing your triglycerides by five. An ideal VLDL level is two to 30 milligrams per deciliter. So millions of people with LDL levels less than 100 may be underestimating their future risk of heart attack and heart attack death by not paying attention to their triglyceride and VLDL levels. Statins are better at lowering LDL than VLDL levels. So, if your LDL is lower but your triglycerides remain high, you are at still a risk, and a higher risk, of heart disease. The study findings underscore that modern lifestyles such as poor diet choices, lack of exercise, and prediabetes are increasing triglyceride problems that can't be addressed just by looking at LDL levels alone and fixing those. You can lower your triglyceride levels without medications, just by adopting a high fiber and low carbohydrate diet and adding 7,000 steps to your day, and you can watch your triglyceride levels quickly go down. There are supplements that make this easier and even more successful and provide gut health and metabolic health simultaneously with lowering triglyceride levels. The takeaways from this study, VLDL and triglyceride levels may be a pr better predictor of future heart disease than LDL alone. People with high VLDL and normal LDL or low LDL are at particularly high risk and checking VLDL levels or estimating them from your triglyceride levels may help identify those at higher risk than merely LDL levels alone. So don't ignore this risk that is hiding in plain sight. When your doctor is pushing a statin, thank them and go fix it yourself. And if you need help, message me or email me and I'll set you on the right path. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.